So the Seaside Kingdom was recently confirmed for Super Mario Odyssey. So today in this video I decided to do sort of a speculation and analysis video to see what I think is going to be in this kingdom. So let's begin with this video. So first let's talk about the scene with the Cheap Cheap underwater. So obviously Mario has possessed the Cheap Cheap. But we can also see some interesting things in the background such as a purple coin. We have a power moon, I think, in that bubble. I think that is a power moon. And then we also have a Bowser flagpole in that little cave area over there. And not only that, we also have platforms at the very top. So that's probably where the main part of the level is. Either that, or this is just some like sub area. Just like in the Metro Kingdom, when you go down a pipe, you're in this little platform bonus challenge thing. That's what this could be, but I'm thinking this is more of the main stage rather than one of those little sub areas. So does this mean because we can use the cheap cheap, can we throw our cap underwater or did the cheap cheap just like jump up in the air and you had to time it? Because that's what that platform over there could be for, is for when the cheap cheap just jumps out of the water. That way you throw a cappy and bam, you're now cheap cheap swimming underwater. So that could be how it goes. Let's discuss this box art next. So Mario has, he has flippers on, he has snorkels on, and this is most likely the new outfit for the Seaside Kingdom. So you'll just go into Cappy's shop thing and you'll purchase these flippers and snorkels and they'll most likely be exclusive to this kingdom. So we know what kind of outfit we're going to expect in the Seaside Kingdom itself. Now let's discuss the actual Seaside part of the Seaside Kingdom and from now on this is going to be complete speculation. So I think the Seaside setting for this kingdom is going to take a lot of inspiration from Galato Beach from Super Mario Sunshine. So obviously this game is meant to be similar in vain to both 64 and Sunshine so I feel like them taking inspiration from Galato Beach isn't a stretch. I feel like it's all going to be sandy because it's obviously a seaside, we'll have little shores and we'll have waves and it'll be really cool. It'd be cool if you could like surf on top of the water, that'd be so cool. Just like in uh, Rico Harbour from Sunshine, you could go on top of the Gooper bleepers and you could surf across the water. I'm feeling like that could be sort of a cool little gimmick in this seaside kingdom. But like I said, complete speculation. But I feel like that is what the Seaside Kingdom is going to look like. I'm thinking Galetto Beach, but on a much bigger scale. So that could be really cool to see in this Seaside Kingdom. Now let's talk about the boss fight of the kingdom itself. I think it's going to be set underwater. Just like in Super Mario Sunshine, you had that boss that was in Noki Bay. I feel like something like that is going to happen in the Seaside Kingdom too. But what could it be? Could it be some sort of like cheap cheap or something? Do you have to be a cheap cheap yourself and go up against a bigger cheap cheap? I have no idea. It could really be anything at this point, but I'm feeling like it's going to be underwater based instead of just on the beach. So that's pretty much all I could speculate and analyze from the Seaside Kingdom. Let me know what you think is going to be in the Seaside Kingdom in the comments below. I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you for watching and I'll definitely make sure to catch you all later.